into ice made out of coal. Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine and today I am participating in a collaboration with some awesome YouTubers. We have come up with a collaboration basically with DIYs around our favorite Christmas carol. Now I get it. Frosty the Snowman is not a Christmas carol, but here's the thing, it made me laugh, it made me smile, and I really want to celebrate the whimsical side of Christmas. Now our second challenge is, if we are going to appear in our video, we must wear an ugly Christmas sweater. DIY ugly sweatshirt. Yep, $5 sweatshirt from Walmart. Decal from Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. and then of course some garland just cut into pieces and made into little snowballs. Snowflakes just falling around. Come on, how do you get a snowman? You gotta have snow. So, guys, I also have here my Mercury Glass DIY Snowman Snowman. Let me show you how I made this and show you how to connect with the rest of the people that are participating in this collab. Here's my supply list. I needed the Krylon Looking Glass Spray Paint. I got it from Michaels. I barely used one half of the can. And I needed a spray bottle for my water and vinegar mixture, painter's tape, E6000 glue, and protective gloves. Now, as you can see, I'm really going for my snowman. There's a look right there in the top left hand corner. But let's look at the glass part that it took to create this. There are two eight inch bows. They were $2.94 at Walmart, as well as two six inch bows there in the middle. That's for the torso. That's $1.50. Got two of those. And then you have that little small fish bowl there in the back. That's a Dollar Tree, even though I already had it. Consider that $1. And of course, the one next to it, that's for the hat. That's another one dollar and of course you know this candle holder from the Dollar Tree. The next thing I did was prepare my water and vinegar mixture. One part water, one part vinegar, and then put it into a spray bottle. Now any vinegar and water mixture left over you can always use that to clean your shower doors. Make them nice and sparkly. Step one, spray on your looking glass paint. Lightly spray on your vinegar and water mixture. Swirl it around. Now spray on more paint. Swirl it around. The acid in that vinegar is starting to really bubble the paint and cause that sort of crackling look. So you alternate that at least two or three times to your liking. Now, I decided that I wouldn't allow that vinegar to just sit there and just drain around the bottom. So I did flip it over and allow it to just pour out before it dries, because this stuff dries really fast. This is the process that I did for each and every piece. And I did it at least three times until I was satisfied. Now this is the rim of the hat, so I know I'm going to have to apply E6000 to the top and the bottom of that. That's why I have the painter's tape there, so the paint doesn't get in that area. I wanted a quick assembly, so I started prepping my area with strips of painter's tape. This paint dries in minutes, but I gave them a couple of hours. Now, although E6000 is a strong and permanent glue, I decided to give it a little extra help. I roughed up the edges of my bowl using a nail file. I made sure all of my dust was gone before I began to apply the E6000. I wanted to be very careful that I didn't put too much glue onto the edge of the bowl. I stayed on that line all the way around. You don't want to have glue dripping down on the inside or the outside. Now, I think it's important to line up your bowls before you apply the glue. That's what I did because some of these bowls can be a little uneven. Now, you don't need to wait until your glue dries in between stages. You glue your size sixes together, you glue your size eight bowls together, and then stack the size six on top of the size eight using the E6000 glue. Now we're at the top of the head, so we are going to apply glue along the edge just like before. Now, do you see why I needed that painter's tape? It allows you to assemble your snowman in no time at all. 
I use E6000 to apply my gems, which I made into buttons, as well as the bling on a roll, which I used to cover the seams of the bowls. Now the nose is an acrylic stone that was taken from a candle ring. I filed it down on one end using a nail file. Well, say hello to Mr. Frosty, a mercury glass bling snowman and candle holder. Now I didn't quite have enough bling on a roll to make his bow tie, but he's gonna get one. Happy Thanksgiving from our awesome collab team. There is a playlist link in the information box. Just click there one time and all of our videos are going to play for you while you continue to enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday. I also listed them individually. If you do have to get up and go back to the dining room table, you can come back and pick up where you left off. Stay in prayer and stay creative.